Thanks, Brandis. A new deal for the controversial Foxconn development just north of the Wisconsin border. New signs of in-person work returning downtown as a trio of companies sign new leases for office space. And will tourism bounce back in the city this summer? Here to go behind the headlines is Crane Chicago business reporter Danny Ecker. Uh, Danny, good to see you. First with that Foxconn story just north of the border in Pleasant Prairie. It was controversial because it got billions of tax breaks in Wisconsin years ago. It never really got off the ground. Now there's a new deal with current Governor Tony Evers. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, according to the Associated Press, uh, we understand that basically whatever Foxconn is going to do is just going to be a lot smaller uh, than the original plan. And remember, as you mentioned a few years ago, the company was going to build a, bit, a giant factory that uh, uh, made LCD screens for TVs and create 13,000 jobs. And in return, the state of Wisconsin was offering them about $4 billion with a B of incentives. Uh, now they've apparently reached a deal to reduce that to about $10 million with an M. Uh, so we don't really don't know yet what was what uh, Foxconn will ultimately do in Wisconsin in the long run. They were reportedly working on a deal to build Google uh, server components. They had, they had uh, manufactured some uh, masks and ventilators last year, but it appears that uh, what we can say at this point is that it's probably not going to be anywhere near the eighth wonder of the world that President Trump called it uh, back in 2018. And those incentives they're going to get now are just a minuscule fraction of what was originally offered. All right, uh, back here in Chicago, three companies are either signing new leases or expanding their downtown office space. Uh, whereabouts is that happening? And do you take this as a sign that uh, the market could be improving? Well, it's definitely improving. I think we're far from uh, where we ought to be and where we will be later in the year. But you know, the office leasing wheels seem to be turning again. We wrote today about deals that got done in recent weeks. One was, uh, the biggest one was a company called Lactalis, which is a French company that bought uh, Kraft Heinz's uh, natural cheese business last year. Uh, they signed a 35,000 square foot sublease in the West Loop. Uh, in the East Loop, a company called Impact Networkings uh, expanded their space by 30,000 feet. And in the Fulton, uh, Fulton Market District, a company called Technion, which makes office furniture, um, they signed a 22,000 square foot lease. So, uh, and by the way, all of this was on the heels of uh, Kimberly Clark signing a big deal last week in Fulton Market or announcing it last week. So it's a big sea change really compared to what the, the past year has delivered in terms of new office leasing. And certainly it's a sign that companies are preparing to return to offices in greater numbers later this year. And certainly things that Loop officials want to see happening, and I'm sure they're glad that that's happening. Okay, lastly, tourism. The city really depends on that in good years. Uh, they hope to get it going in the summer, but the city's tourism arm is losing some of its top executives. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's you know not the best time to be having a leadership gap at the Tourism Bureau. We had news a few weeks ago that True Chicago is not renewing the contract of its CEO, David Whitaker, which expires in July. And then we just got news uh, late last week that his number two, uh, Mark Anderson, who's one of the veterans at True Chicago, is leaving to lead tourism efforts for the city of San Antonio. Uh, so it, it's really at a time when the city needs its tourism arm to be firing on all cylinders. It's uh, it's it's uh, missing some uh, going to be missing some leaders, and it also has a, a slashed budget and a reduced staff. And on top of that, they're trying to send the message that the city's open for fun, but also uh, you know trying to make sure it's a safe and inviting place to be. So there's some creativity to be done here uh, to take advantage of what a lot of people would think will be a, a really strong summer for leisure travel. Certainly going to be a heavy job for whoever takes those positions over. All right, Danny, thank you very much. Thanks, Paris.